Hello and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you a fun little technique that you can do with painter's tape. Um, and we're going to use the painter's tape uh, to make this cute little card. And the painter's tape is what's actually going to color each of these little lines that's on the card. So, we are going to start out with a piece of, well a couple pieces of cardstock. You're going to start out with your base which actually I decided to use all of the new in colors. So all of the colors that are on this card um, are the 2013 to 2015 in colors. Um, so that's what the base of the card is. And then the card, um, the card stack that we're actually going to do the stamping on is cut to five and a quarter by four inches. And that is just going to lay right on top of this card once we get it stamped. So let's start out. Um, painter's tape actually comes in a variety of different sizes and I just happen to have this particular size in the house but you can use any size that you want. This painter's tape is about one inch thick um, so we'll have just enough space on this piece of paper to go across uh, five times. So all you're going to do is take your first color, and I'm going to use the pistachio pudding, and you're just going to rip a piece of tape, if you can see this, um, just a little bigger than the ink pad. So we'll tear that off, and you're going to lay it across your ink pad, and then you're just going to smooth it down and get some ink on it, lift it up, and then you can kind of look on the back of it to see how much ink that you have on there if you like the amount of ink that you have. And then you're simply going to lay it on the cardstock in the spot that you want it and just gently rub it, rub the tape on there. And then the hardest part is going to be peeling it off because you want to peel it off slow enough so that you don't tear your cardstock. So there's the first one, that's the green. And then we're going to use the strawberry slush and I already have it set up for us to make this go a little faster. So I'm just going to do the same thing, I'm going to get some ink on there. And then I'm going to lay it right next to this other one. And again I just want to smooth this on here a little bit. I don't want to push this tape all the way down because when you do that um, you run the risk of tearing your card a little easier when you do that. So here, there we go. So there's the strawberry and we're just going to repeat this process for each of the different colors that we want to use. So now I'm going to put on the baked brown sugar. And you want to get, um, you know, you're going for the kind of, um, I guess, blotchy or worn look. I'm not sure what kind of look you call this. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this is the cantaloupe, so we're going to lay the cantaloupe on here. Crisp cantaloupe, one of my favorite in colors. And then the final color is the Coastal Cabana. And we're just going to lay that on the end. And then once you have all your colors on there, again, it, we don't want it to be perfect. We want it to look a little rough around the edges. Um, what I did actually with this particular card is I embossed it once I got all my colors on there. So I used um, one of Stampin' Up's newer embossing folders called the Alphabet Press and I just simply put this inside and then ran this through the Big Shot so that I could get just a little bit more dimension in my card. Um, then I just embellished it with a little bit of ruffled trim and 
um, a sentiment and some other things. So very, very simple technique that you can do. Like I said, you can use any size painter's tape. Um, you can even use washi tape if you want uh, and you'll achieve the same type of effect. So I hope that was helpful and thanks again for joining me.